The collector and vintage market is exploding these days, but the cars are often underpowered, they break down, and they're dirty. If you love VWs, old VW bugs and things, and this particular vehicle, which is the Microbus, very cool, but you don't want to be broken down by the side of the road, the Electric has an answer for you. How about making them all electric? The cars you're actually using are of a certain vintage. What are they? They're all Volkswagens and they're all collectibles. There's a sweet spot in Volkswagen Beetles between 1958 and 66. We source well-maintained, well-cared-for cars, then we take the gas bits out and put in uh, the electric stuff. So we have double horsepower, right? All electric. You can just plug it in at night, in the morning it's ready. And what's the range potentially on it? It just depends how much you can afford with a bus because we have room for a lot of batteries in here. But the way we have it set up right now, it's a solid 60 mile range in this bus. In the Beetle, it's about 80 to 100 miles. This is truly a great design. You've got your, your surfboard back here. It's got a sunroof. This whole thing opens up. You, basically, every window pops out, or including the front windows, right? So in a sense, it is the quintessential California machine. You start this company because you're a green fiend, right? You're mad about <laughs> all things green? Really, it was to make the car more dependable. I grew up with these cars. I've had them for the last 30 years. And uh, every couple of months, something, you know, something breaks. Something physically falls off. Going electric, it makes them super dependable. And that's a lot of fun. You can shift if you want to, if you want to have more fun. Or you can just leave it in third gear and cruise around like an automatic. So if you, you probably didn't realize, we've been in second gear the whole time uh, from when I took off. Right. I, can, I can stop now in second gear and, just and, start second uh, gear. and start off. So it's pretty much just like a, an automatic. This car can be coming at you, you know, 50 miles an hour in a residential neighborhood. Yeah. It literally does not come up on your audible radar. I have never driven an all-electric Beetle. Come on, baby, come on, yeah! <laughs> Dude, it's fast. Here's the thing that so many people don't realize about electric motors is you get 100% of torque on demand. So they're really, I mean, it may not be fast to 100, but to 30 or 35 miles an hour from off the line, Which they're is... really quick. You've actually made 1960s VW bugs fast and interesting. Yes, I know nobody believes me, but they go 100 miles an hour, no problem. Hi. Very close, this one's a 59. It's all electric. No, seriously, we have, it's all electric. I'm gonna beat you off the line. Let's race, bye. Woo! <laughs> and there we're up to almost 50 miles an hour. We totally blasted the Lexus. How many cars do you guys expect to sell a year? We can handle about 10 right now. How much, how much for the different? Now we are in, this is a microbus would be, be around 130. $130,000. $130, $130,000. For an old Volkswagen bus. And sometime, <laughs> probably sold for 25 bucks to somebody. But, I mean, it's gorgeous. It's collectible. It's interesting. Now, the VW Beetle start at what? The sedan starts at uh, 68. And if you put a big hole in the roof, it's 78 for their rag top. And uh, if you take the roof off, it's about 88. We came. We played. Thank you, David, because it turns out the cars are a blast. They are sort of the shape of the future in the form of the past. Super charming, really fun, and totally clean.